Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices. Serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. For many people in Elkhorn City, Kentucky, the building behind me, the old Elkhorn City High School, holds a special place in their heart. And this morning they found out this building will once again be opening its doors. Representatives from the governor's office as well as several local officials were on hand this morning as plans were announced to bring the old Elkhorn City High School back to life. A grant totaling $636,000 has been awarded to renovate the old school and create new apartments. Uh, it will provide new, clean, one, two, and three bedroom homes for low to moderate income persons. Uh, the homes will be energy efficient and they will also include washers and dryers in each unit. In addition to the Community Development Block Grant announced today, the project will be funded with state and federal tax credits totaling more than four million dollars. Once complete, the Pike County Housing Authority will work with applicants to fill the 27 new apartments. An official said today the designs are already complete and the project is moving along quickly. We're just months away from breaking ground and getting it going. I can't imagine in another year and a half the rebirth of Elkhorn City High School. Because the building is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, the outside must be restored to how it looked decades ago. When you drive by, you're going to see what looks like the old high school in its glory days. Which Johnson says is great news for thousands of former students of Elkhorn City High School. My wife went to the old Pikeville High School and how much she would probably give to this, even see it converted and restored on the outside and converted into apartments and still be a presence in, in Pikeville. Well, the people of Elkhorn City are going to have that. Officials say if all goes well, construction could be complete by early 2018. Reporting in Elkhorn City for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.